It's been quite some time since we last covered Manus, the first ever general AI agent that's capable of building and automating almost anything. Manus AI is an autonomous general agent that's designed to plan, execute, and deliver complete work end to end. Think of it as a virtual colleague with its own computer. Since that video, Manus has evolved drastically and continues to get better. Just this week, Manus was actually acquired by Meta, putting it on a much stronger and more sustainable foundation without changing how Manus works or how decisions are made. Personally, I see this as a massive acquisition for Meta because I believe Manus will only keep on growing from here. But beyond the acquisition, Manus has also rolled out with a huge new update with the launch of Manus 1.6. Manus 1.6 is something that pushes the platform closer to true autonomy by upgrading its core agent architecture to handle more complex tasks with far less supervision. This release introduces three major upgrades, Manus 1.6 Max, Mobile App Development, and Design View for interactive image creation. At the center of it all is Manus 1.6 Max, the most powerful version yet, and it delivers higher one-shot task accuracy with a success rate of over 19% with higher user satisfaction. It has smarter parallel research and major improvements to spreadsheets, data analysis, automated reporting, and web deployment, resulting in more polished UIs and richer interactive experiences. The interesting fact is that Manus is currently the state of the art on the remote labor index benchmark, and it shows that it is outcompeting many of these other proprietary giants. But essentially, Manus 1.6 Max is the flagship agent of Manus, the most powerful version yet. This is something that delivers higher task success rates with 30% more persistent in deep research, as well as significantly smarter and more reliable with tool usage. It allows complex multi-step tasks to be completed autonomously with fewer retries and less supervision. It can now also handle things like detailed competitor analysis and feature comparison matrices in a single attempt. This essentially means that complex work gets done correctly the first time, saving both time and effort. All paid users can try Max or the regular 1.6, while free users can get 1.6 Lite, and you can switch between any tier whenever you want. The next big update, a part of the 1.6 release, is the mobile development feature, where you can build for any platform. For the first time, Manis can now build mobile applications. You can simply describe the app that you want and Manus is going to be able to handle it end to end with the development process. It's combined with improved web development capabilities and this opens up a whole new range of projects you can actually create with Manus. Lastly is the design view update. This is where you can create and edit visually. You can go beyond text prompts with the design view feature. It's an interactive canvas for image creation and editing where you can edit with precision make local changes to any part of an image with simple point and click controls. You can also modify in image text where you can add or change text directly on your image with high quality rendering. And lastly, you can composite and create by combining multiple images to produce complex creative designs. With this new design view feature, it's gonna give you the fine grained control of traditional design software. And it's powered by cutting edge image generation models like Nana Banana 2. There's so much more to explore and we're going to be diving into all of this throughout today's video. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Also, a huge props to the Manus team for sponsoring today's video. To get started, you can use the link and what you can do is either sign up or log in with an account with Manus. And you can do this completely for free. After signing up or logging in, you're going to be then first prompted to either select the 1.6 Max or the 1.6 Lite, depending on which tier you have. On the left hand side, you can manage all of your tasks as well as projects which you can categorize. There's actually a library where you can actually track and build your own knowledge base by creating multiple tasks. Now, within this main dashboard, you can request the Manus agent to practically do almost anything from creating slides to building websites, creating full on applications, whether that's on the mobile now as well, or designing and so much more. There's a lot of flexibility that you get with Manus. So to start off, what we're going to actually do is have it work on a research task. This is where we're going to have it tackle finding the top 10 AI agent platforms in 2025. And essentially what we're looking to see is if it's able to collect and verify 
multiple categories like core capabilities of these platforms, the target user, the level of autonomy, strengths, weaknesses, and a lot of other categories. And we're going to have it perform deep research and using multiple reliable sources. We're going to have it work on using multiple tools and then have it output the results in a clean, well-structured Excel spreadsheet. So let's see how well it is performing. You can see right away that it is working on doing deep research and compiling the best sources off of various sorts of verified sources. And then it's going to compile it and then start on browsing and using the computer operator, which is a tool that Manis has. And it is going to then do deep research based off of those sources that it had found initially. So it looks like it has identified the top AI agent platforms from multiple sources due to the deep research it had accumulated. But now it is requesting us to continue forward by collecting more detailed information on each platform. And you can see that it is going to do this by creating 10 separate subtasks to do a wide research on each of these topics now, which is just incredible. And it is going to provide a checklist on all of them being accomplished live in action. And the great thing about Manus is that it's capable of deploying multiple agents asynchronously so it can work together to accomplish a task. This is the beauty of Manus. It can practically use almost any tool, whether that's coding, doing deep research, using the web, using its browser use computer, and so many other things to get your task done, which is why this is one of the best agents out there. So it looks like it has finished on the comprehensive research for the top 10 AI agent platforms. And you can see that it has done a great job in extracting all the categories that I had requested. There's actually an analysis, an executive summary of what it had found for each individual uh, platforms. For example, like Llama Index, it has gotten the company name, the attributes, like the product focus, the core capabilities, pricing, as well as the autonomy level. In the same manner, it did it for all 10 of the different platforms. And then it did a market analysis talking about the pricing landscape, recommendations, and what sort of use case you would want to use these platforms for. And it also outputted all the content into a spreadsheet. And you can see how well structured it is. Something I did on top of what I generated was I told it to condense all of its findings and create a web page so it's easier to digest and you can see that it did a remarkable job in doing this by categorizing like the ease of use the enterprise readiness of that framework how much code is required quick recommendations and overall it did a great job in providing the executive summary in a digestible manner this is the capability of Manus, and it is something that will automate so many things for you and like we had mentioned we now have the ability to use the design arena and this is where you can simply go ahead and click on design and you have the ability to select different image generation models to help you generate anything so in this case you can simply send in a prompt to generate any sort of image and it'll work on tackling this task to produce a visually striking image and quite rapidly it was able to generate this image based off of the prompt that i had given it but you can see that these are beautiful images that you can generate and it also provides this canvas so that you can tweak certain edits like highlighting a certain section and changing that component directly within the chat panel this is the flexibility you get with design arena the design view and you can basically use ai generation with interactive editing to get the best generations out of this to extend Manus even further you can connect with all of these different apps you can even connect custom apis custom mcps so overall you have a lot of flexibility in terms of enhancing this agent even further and like i mentioned you, with this new update you can develop apps mobile apps so in this case if i'm to tell it to create a flappy bird app it will select the correct framework that is needed to build out the Flappy Bird app so that it is something that could be functional on a mobile device. And you can see that it is giving you a live preview of it coding this app out. What's incredible is that it also integrates a database, a backend server that you can manage, a file storage, as well as the code that you can then access by downloading or simply publishing it directly to GitHub. And remember with that new design feature, it's capable of using various sorts of image generation models or different design tools, like using Nano Banana Pro for this case, 
to generate an app icon and finalize the branding. And that is our Flappy Bird app icon. Now, with this canvas that you can then access now, you are able to actually mark edits. So if you want to add like a smiley face, you can highlight this and you can say add a smile. And just like that, it added a smile to our bird. Now you have so many features with this canvas and this is a beautiful feature because now you have image editing capabilities directly within Manus. So you can work with the agents while it's coding out an app for you to generate the best design. And it looks like our app is now fully generated. This is where you can now access it on the Android device and you can actually publish it so that it is now accessible on the Google Play Store. Now you can also publish the backend and you can set this up directly within Manus as well. But just take a look at our Flappy Bird game, which is actually functional and it is something that works perfectly. So what I would recommend is using the Max model for complex tasks where you have a lot of time and it's going to essentially use more credits. It's extending its reasoning budget with different models to get the best output. You can use the 1.6 which is a versatile model and you can use for general tasks if you have the pro plan. And obviously, if you do not have the pro plan, you're going to be stuck with the 1.6 light, which is still going to be incredible because you can get quick and simple experiments generated quite rapidly with this. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Manus 1.6. This is an incredible new update that makes this general AI agent even better. In my opinion, this is the best AI agent that's available. It's smarter faster and ready to take your ideas from concepts to reality. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter, join our discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our, uh, our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.